Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to explore why you chose your siblings in this lifetime. Now what is very interesting and unique about our relationship with our siblings is that these are people who are on our team, but yet we're also competitive with them because we share the same resources, the same parents, the same time and space, the same womb, right? Now, the sibling, our siblings can say things to us that no one else can say to us. I mean, they can tell us a raw, dirty truth that we may that may hurt our feelings but because they are our siblings and we know that they love us we accept that truth but if a friend said those exact same things to us they would no longer be our friend we learn our first lessons about forgiving about sharing about you know having something in common with another human it's a very interesting and unique relationship that has so many lessons that you're probably not even aware of that has made you the person you are today. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings. I would like for you to participate in a brief meditation that will allow your mind to settle into your spirit by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine holding it to the count of nine and releasing it to the count of nine. This will help you select a butterfly color with the message you most need to hear. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help someone find their way. Hello darling. If you selected the orange butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective understanding of the cards regarding the lessons as to why you chose your siblings for this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who represents your root chakra. Her element is earth. She says your talents, gifts, and special skills are coded in your DNA. Sounds like somebody chose their siblings. Oh, you know what popped in my head was like Michael Jackson, Venus, and Serena. These are not just your siblings, but your siblings are people that you share a special talent with. And you guys needed each other to incarnate at the same time in order to accomplish certain goals. Another card I have for you is, let me get the card straight here, it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari who represents our heart chakra. Her element is water and she says, do what you love and become who you are meant to be. All right. This hand, I haven't even pulled the two, the additional two cards, but it just really sounds to me like your siblings are not just, you know, you don't just share the same birth parents, but you guys came here to accomplish something together. Maybe you are both artists or maybe you have a certain talent or maybe you guys have an idea for a business or you're, so this is a person who somehow you came here together 
to work um, symbiotically to, to do something together you guys share a certain talent and a certain skill a certain resources where you play off each other and you actually need each other to succeed so let me pull the next card oh yes we have jungle beauty goddess katara again and jungle beauty goddess katara's message to you it says do something physical that brings you pleasure and the last card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess afar who represents our third eye and her which is responsible for our imagination and our wisdom and understanding she says you can create whatever you want this hand screams okay listen i don't know who your siblings are and a sibling can be a cousin or someone in your family that you've been raised with and you share the same caregivers but what i'm picking up from this hand is that you chose your siblings in this lifetime to act as teammates to act as business partners to act as um co-creators of your dreams you guys came here to do something phenomenal together and you have a special skill and a special talent that you probably played around with as children maybe you you know you could write something and they would illustrate it or you played you know you created plays together you sang together you played ball together but listen your siblings are a significant part of your your, your destiny, your, your dream, your ability to create the life you want. So, and then you have two cars from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra, our connection to the earth. If you are into, into traditional tarot, she um, represents the pentacle, pentacles. So this relates to money. So your relationship with your siblings is a very strong relationship based on having a plan to come to this planet to co-create some type of business some type of skill some type of dream you're like the venus and serena the michael jacksons the marie and donny osmond i says do what you love and become who you're meant to be um again we're talking about some something that you guys have been doing since childhood i don't know if you're doing it right now but child, if you're watching this video, you need to call your sibling up and say, look, remember when we used to do, you know, play jacks? We, we bought to go into the jack championship, okay? Or tennis, whatever it is, whatever games you used to play, whatever activities, this is your, this is your ace boom cone. This is your business partner. You have another card from, from Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar, who represents our third eye, our imagination, our ability to visualize what it, we want to accomplish. And again, she says, you can create whatever you want. Child, this hand is saying, do something physical that brings you pleasure. Listen, you chose your siblings because you guys, when you were on the spirit side and you were coming up with a plan, you guys decided that you were going to conquer the world together that you were going to both have the same skill or talent or either one of you have you know the talent and it, it coordinates together whatever it whatever your relationship is with your siblings you guys are meant to work together so whatever if you have any little you know squabblings or whatever get past it because your gifts your dream is meant to be co-created with your siblings i really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video hello darling if you selected the blue butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective understanding of why you chose your siblings for this lifetime. The first card I have for you 
is from Jungle Beauty, I mean, I'm sorry, from the, the Matter, who is the father of the Jungle Beauty goddesses. And the Matter's message to you is, your obsession will be your possession. So whatever you are obsessed about, whatever you think about, hmm, and then he represents divine masculine, which has to do with acting. Let's look at the rest of the cards, so we get a, a bigger picture of why you chose your sibling. So uh, you have a jungle beauty goddess. So Haru represents the throat chakra, the mind, and she says what you know believe and how you think will have the greatest impact on your life okay i have another card for you and it's from jungle beauty goddess katara who represents our root chakra her element is earth and she says is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future dna and the last card i have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Travi, who represents our third chakra. And she says, life is not meant to be fair. It's meant to strengthen your courage. Now, what I'm picking up from this particular hand is that there is some competition and maybe some type of verbal abuse in your relationship with your siblings, very competitive as well. I think it says life is not meant to be fair, but it's meant to strengthen your courage. My intuition is telling me that your siblings, there was some name calling, fighting over resources. Um, I think you're, they put you down. They told you some things about yourself that you still hold true to, to this day. Like, you know, maybe calling you fat or ugly or dumb. Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents your throat chakra and your mind, your intellect, your ability to think logically. She says, what do you believe and how you think will have the greatest impact in your life? I believe there was a lot of, um, you know how sometimes children call each other names and they pick on each other and they tell the other one, our mom's favorite or you know um, kids can be really cruel to each other what I'm picking up is your siblings were not very nice and it has had a big impact on how you see yourself today and I think that you may have developed some um, negative self-talk patterns that you have to this day because of the things that your siblings said to you. And because they belittled you, you still carry around those tapes in your head and it's affecting your ability to uh, move up on your job, to do well in school, to be successful. I really feel that the abuse from your siblings has impacted your life in a negative way and it has affected your relationship with your co-workers, um, has affected your relationship with friends. Um, because you have these negative beliefs about yourself, it's really kind of hard for you to trust people. So. What from the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara that says, Is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? I'm picking up that maybe because you have been conditioned to um, not feel good about yourself, you probably have picked up some unhealthy habits. Like some people may drink, some people may smoke, some people. Um, may give up easily when they're going after their dreams or you may have a habit of um, picking the wrong friends you know to hang around because of what your siblings said to you so when is she at which Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara is asking the question that your current behavior investing in so based on how your relationship with your siblings 
How has that relationship impacted how you get along with your friends, with your coworkers, with your neighbors, with other people? Like, are you argumentative? Do you not trust people? Do you um, gossip excessively? Um, there are some, I'm picking up that there are some negative behaviors, some negative words that were, you know, used against you. And this has really affected you, affected your ability to attract and maintain healthy relationships. So I want you, you chose your siblings. Now, one of the things that I'm picking up from this hand is that you chose your siblings so that you will have an opportunity to to become mentally strong you want like for example if you wanted to run for office you can't be a person who is sensitive to what other people say or let's just say you want to have a YouTube channel and there are people who will say some really cruel things to you I mean you know People call my dolls ugly. I mean, people will say some cruel stuff to you, like, you know, call you names. Um, but because of what you have gone through with your siblings, you are very resilient. You chose your siblings in this lifetime because you wanted an opportunity to know what it was like to be resilient and continue to move forth in whatever you're doing and still maintain a relationship with people. So what I'm picking up is that, you know how it is with your siblings, they can call you names, they can call you, you know, you're ugly, you creep, this and that, they can call you all kind of things, right? But then you, you know, two days later, you're the best friends. Well, that's how it is when you're on a job or, you know, when you're working on a project with people, you just can't. Um, stop talking to people because they called your name or because you had a bad day. And I think what the cards are telling you is that any behavior that you have right now that is um, negative, that has created self-doubt because of your relationship with your siblings, the the message I'm getting for you is to look at the pos turn it into a positive and understand that and let this and let what happened to you create a thick skin. So what I mean is, so yes, um, it says your obsession, your obsession will be your possession. So let's, if you're obsess, obsessing over, you know, the things that your siblings said to you, that's going to make it very difficult for you to move ahead in life. But let's just say you look at your relationship with your siblings as preparing you for leadership, preparing you to be able to get along with people who don't necessarily like you, but yet you still need to work together. That is why you chose your siblings. And I also feel that you may have forgotten that this is why you guys signed this contract, this spiritual contract with each other before incarnating. It says life generally to God is Chobi who represents your third chakra, which I was leading me to believe that maybe you have some self doubt, self esteem, self worth, um, difficulty um, in terms of self mastery or going after your goals because you are carrying the baggage of some of the verbal and maybe even physical abuse of your siblings. But I feel that you chose your siblings because you want to be mentally st strong. You want to be tough. You want to be able to deal with criticism and still move ahead and accomplish your goals. So Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi's message to you. She says, life is not meant to be fair. It's meant to strengthen your courage. So please don't forget that you chose your siblings because you are you want to do big things with your life and you can't afford to be sensitive to people who are critical of you um, whether it's constructive or de uh, or constructive criticism you you need to you chose them to help you toughen up i really hope this message helps someone thank you so much for watching 
and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the pink butterfly, this message is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective understanding as to why you chose your siblings in this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara who represents the earth element in our root chakra and our relationship with our ancestors, our family. She says, discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. So I'm sensing, oh my goodness. So with your siblings, there was a lot of competition for your parents' attention and your siblings were successful and you had a hard time figuring out what you wanted to do because they were always shining. So you kind of felt like you were always in the shadow. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just keep moving ahead with this hand. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib who represents our soul. Um, and her message to you is, is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? So I get the feeling is it for your highest good and the highest good for all? I get the feeling you've been the person who has always acquiesced to your siblings, to your family. Like you've been the person who supported everybody else's dreams. Yes. So you were always wondering if it was for your highest good and the highest good for all. Like you were the one, if necessary, you would have dropped out of school if your sibling needed you to babysit or if somebody needed to be taken care of, if somebody needed help with their business, with their dream, with their paper, with their, you were the person who would do that. You were always looking out for the highest good. It seems like you're a connector. Maybe you're even an angel. Discover what you do better than most. This is your path to prosperity. So what do you do better than most? Let me keep going with this hand, but I get the feeling that there's something really special about you. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And her message to you is, be crafty, create the life you deserve. Okay, I get it. I don't even know what the next card is going to say, but when I see the card, Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar represents our third eye, our which is responsible for our imagination, our ability to visualize what it is we want. It is understanding and wisdom. It's where our, you know, when you come up with this really great idea, it comes from your third, from your third eye. Now, what is very interesting about this card, be crafty, create the life you deserve. What that usually means to me is that you have so much going on that you're going to have to be creative and carving out time to make your own dreams come true. Like you, you might be the person who, whenever somebody needs a hand, you're always there, right? So, for in order for you to like start your own business or you know making cupcakes or whatever it is you want to do, you know, um, start your YouTube channel. You know, maybe you want to go back to school but it seems to me like because you are you have been the glue with your siblings you've been the one that helped everybody else you've had a hard time trying to figure out what it is that you really want to do because you've been so busy you know helping everyone else out the next uh, um, card I have for you it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. Okay, again, we have that third eye, the imagination, understanding, um, creation, visualization. Oh, she says, you would never fail when you are being yourself. Listen, you chose your siblings. And what I'm picking up, this is going to sound so weird. You incarnated with your siblings in this lifetime. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. Because you wanted to assist them. You wanted to help them shine. Help them accomplish their goals. And yeah, I get the feeling you're a little bit of an angel. 
Um, but somehow, you know, you've come to this planet, you've agreed to help your, your siblings, you know, with their dreams and their goals. You have assisted everyone to the degree that it is very difficult for you to even, you know, you don't even know where to start with creating the life that you want because you have always thought about helping everybody else. Um, but the message to you is that yes, you signed a contract to be of assistance to your siblings to help them. But I feel like the universe is telling you now your contract is complete and it is time for you to try to figure it out, figure out what it is that you want to do with your life that's going to, you know, bring you pleasure and joy, prosperity. And what's interesting, it says you would never fail when you are being yourself. So don't try to duplicate what your siblings are doing. Like if you have a brother who's in med school, you don't need to be go to you don't need to go to medical school because your brother went to medical school, or you don't need to um, be a teacher because your sister is a teacher. You know what I'm saying? It's you need to figure out. You can't fail when you are being true to yourself. So don't look at your siblings and feel intimidated and think like, wow, my mom is going to be disappointed because everybody else has a degree, but I really just want to, you know, start a food truck. Like, so you need to really be honest with yourself. So one, you chose your siblings because you agreed to help them out. I, I know this sounds weird, but I think maybe in a previous lifetime, they may have helped you. But it sounds to me like there was there. It feels to me like there is a spiritual contract of duty, of a spiritual contract of service to your siblings. And I'm feeling that if you're watching this video, that it is that contract has been fulfilled, and it's time for you to start making a plan about what it is you want to do. And the universe is telling you to not look at what your siblings have accomplished and feel like you need to um, that you need to uh, compete with them or you need to be in alignment with what they're doing like like you don't want to disappoint your parents you need to find your own path and it says here oh my god you have two cards it says discover what you do better than most this is your path to prosperity so let's just say You've been the person who you help everybody get out the house. Like you cook the meals, you do all the planning. You may make a per, an excellent personal assistant to you know a wealthy family. Now you might want to start your own business where you go and you help people organize their homes. You'll be surprised at the skills that you have developed in your role as a caretaker and assistant an organizer for your family so the the other card you have says um you will never fail when you are being yourself as well as the one that says discover what you do better than most this is your path to prosperity so these two cards tell me that the universe is telling you that your contract to help your siblings has been fulfilled and that you need to start thinking about yourself it says be crafty to create the life you deserve this means that you're going to have to think of, use your imagination to come up with ways to carve out time to, you know, nurture yourself. So maybe, you know, you, you're helping your, your sister with her law practice and you have this commitment where you come in or you answer the phones at the, her hair salon, you know what I'm saying? So what you need to do now is start to start easing back a little bit. Like maybe, you know, when somebody asks you to babysit or whatever, you got to say no. You have to start just picking out some days that are very sacred to you and spend that time uh, nurturing yourself so you can have an idea about what it is you want. And not always thinking is it, the, you know, because your primary thinking is you when you have this the me card that says, is it for the highest good? As if for your highest good and the highest good for all, you have been that person who has always looked out for the highest good for yourself and for your family. But the universe is saying that it is time for you to start looking out for yourself and, um, 
Yes, and the contract with your siblings to help them achieve their goals has been fulfilled and it's time for them to reach back and help you with your goals. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the yellowish green butterfly, this message is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective understanding as to why you chose your siblings in this lifetime. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, who represents our second chakra, our ability to feel joy and pleasure to live spontaneously, to live in the moment. She says to do it now. It has to do with our relationship. So um, she's Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai represents, I don't know if, if this is a healthy relationship with your, your siblings, but she's saying to do it now. So whatever is going on with your siblings, I'm gonna figure it out with the other cards. So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. Uh-oh. She said, love is the only thing worth fighting for. What this means to me, <coughs> excuse me, when I see these two cards together, guys, Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, excuse me, I get confused looking at the camera. Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai represents our ability to have healthy and loving relationships. Um, you know, where whether we're codependent or intimacy, you know, intimacy doesn't just have to do with um, romantic relationships with our friends. And then I pull a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, who represents the heart. She's our heart chakra, our ability to feel compassion, to forgive, um, you know, love, of course. And she says, love is the only thing worth fighting for. Now I haven't put the other two cards in this particular spread, but for the from just looking at these two cards, my gut instinct is saying that I think somebody needs to apologize. And because you guys love each other, your sisters or your brothers or your brother and sister, and something happened and you don't have the time to waste on who's fought or what happened and that you need to somebody I don't know it just feels like like you guys need to forgive each other um, and move on from something but let me um, pull the next card and then we'll just look at all four of your cards and I'll give you a broader view so we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar who represents our third eye and she says use your skills and resources uh oh to invent what is missing so again to invent what is missing what is out you know in my mind what pops in my mind maybe what's missing is you felt that your sibling um you know received the lion's share of your parents love or they were the ones who sat in the in the front seat you feel that they re something is missing that they received that you didn't receive and it has diminished your relationship with your sibling and jungle beauty goddess sinai wants you to forgive them now this to me I'm getting the feeling that this hand has to do with forgiving your siblings about the past and the reason you chose to incarnate in this lifetime with your siblings is because you wanted to learn a lesson about forgiveness so I'm gonna look at the last card and give you a deeper um, perspective on the message from the jungle beauty goddesses as to why you chose your siblings in this lifetime so the final card I have for you in this spread is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents our throat chakra. 
And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is the answer is in the questions. Oh my goodness. You know, this, first of all, she represents our throat chakra, which has to do with our ability to see the truth, speak the truth, know the truth, to do our research, to think, um, to think logically, to make good decisions. She has to do with communication. So I feel that in this relationship, there was favoritism. Um, somebody was favored. Somebody received more. Somebody, you, you, so it's the answers in the question. So I'm thinking that why did mom love you more? Why did you, why were you the favorite? Why did you take my boyfriend? Why did you, why did everybody, you know, like you more than me? So I'm, I, I'm getting the feeling that whatever is missing, whatever is missing, the jungle beauty goddesses are telling you to use your skills and resources to invent what is missing which means that if you feel that your sibling received most of the attention from your parents how did that help you to be the person you are today that that did, did, are there any lessons that you can think of that has contributed to your success based on the fact that you were the one who had to do most of the giving so the example that, that I can give is that when I was growing up, I'm, I'm the oldest of two brothers, and I was always told, You're, you have to be an example. So my mother would always insist that I take the broken cookies and the broken the burnt sausages, and but it made me a leader. It made me a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? So when I would look back, and to me what was missing is that I, I would always say, well, I don't understand why my brothers were had such um, leniency. They were able to go and come as they please, whereas I had a curfew. So I always felt that what was missing was the freedom. But to me, the discipline that was instilled in me because of the curfews, because of the rules, has contributed to my success. So I am telling you that whatever questions you have about your childhood with your sibling about what's missing or who got the better you know bedroom who got the bigger bedroom who got the you know who got the used clothes um why did you why was this why was this person favored she's saying the answers and the questions look at your life and see why that happened if you look at your life today how did your childhood and your relationship with your siblings impact who you are today as a person? Do you think that those relationships have made you successful? Look at the relationship you have with your siblings and how you get along with the people in your job, with your neighbors, how you get along with your mate. Has there been any positive outcomes based on those relationships, those, you know, childhood relationships with your siblings. So she's saying, you know, invent what is missing. Nothing is missing. You just have to think about how, you know, how this is, has shaped you into being the person you are today. Now, and the other thing is, what I'm picking up from this hand, this is a very intense hand is that I feel that there is some resentment towards your siblings or a sibling because you feel that they receive the lion's share of the resources, of the attention, of the love, of the favoritism, of favor, whatever. Um, there's some resentment there. And the Jungle Beauty Goddess has said, love is the only thing worth fighting for. And this is your sibling and that you need to fight for this love. You need to fight for this relationship. You need to forgive your parents, forgive your siblings, you know, forgive your family for the way things were at that time during your childhood because that is going to, if you don't forgive them, it's going to prevent you from living the life of your dreams, from being your highest and best self, from reaching your full potential. So Jungle Beauty Goddess has an urgent message to you and she says do it now work and then she represents our relationships 
you know, building friendships and our um, intimacy. Intimacy means, you know, when you tell some, ask someone, how was your day, darling? And you get into a deep discussion. So did you like the movie? And you kind of get to know someone. She's telling you you need to work on the relationship with your siblings and forgive them for the past. So I'm going to say that you chose your relationship with your siblings for this lifetime because you wanted to learn how to forgive. That was your lesson. You you really wanted to learn how to be magnanimous, how to be the bigger person, and that is why you chose this these relationships with your siblings. Don't forget your contract for greatness. Don't forget that you signed on the when you were on the spiritual side, you were like no, you know, of course, when you were this light being, you probably thought it was going to be easy to be in a family and see somebody else. Kind of like the Cinderella story, you know what I'm saying? At the end, Cinderella still got what she wanted. You're always going to get what you want. But don't forget to be magnanimous. Don't forget to be the bigger person. Don't forget to, don't forget your greatness. That's, that was why you chose them because you wanted to be able to share a story with other people how to overcome and those skills that you have learned from your siblings can help you be a very very successful life coach um, a spiritual director anything working with people but you can't do that until you first heal the relationship you have with your siblings and realize that nothing was ever missing you were just being prepared for greatness I really hope this video helps someone thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.